personality development specialist here at LAM early on, and today we're going to be exploring temperament. So we're going to be doing some activities um, that can help get your shy or slow to warm up child um, to get more involved, and then we also have some activities for your super active little ones too to kind of calm them down. And then we're going to be talking more about what temperament is and why it's so important for you to understand your temperament and your little one's temperament as well. But we're going to be starting off with some songs. These are great for any children. Not only are songs and rhymes great for language and speech um, development promotion, but it also really helps with their social skills um, and all that fun stuff and memorization. So before we get into it, I want to see who is here with me today. So we are going to be singing our hello song. And I hear the choo-choo train coming. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo, the hello train is coming. How are you? Choo choo, the hello train is coming. How are you? Choo choo, the hello train is coming. The hello train is coming. The hello train is coming. How are you? Choo choo, say hello to Kim. How are you? Choo choo. Say hello to my friends at home. Let's yell out our names nice and loud. What are your names? Say them nice and loud. How are you? Choo, choo. Say hello to my friends. Say hello to my friends. Say hello to my friends. How are you? Good job, my friends. And now let's roll our arms all together, my friends. Help me sing this song and do the actions. Rolly poly, rolly poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly, down, down. Down, 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 down. Rolly poly, rolly poly. Out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly. In, 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 in. Faster, my friend. Rolly poly, rolly poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly. Slow, 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 and louder. Rolly poly, rolly poly, la la la, la la la. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly. Good job, my friends. Let's keep rolling our arms for wheels on the bus. Are we ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The money on the bus goes clink, clink, clink. Cling, 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 cling. The money on the bus goes cling, 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 all through the town. And the driver on the bus says, Move on back, please. Move on back, please. Move on back. The driver on the bus says, Move on back, please. All through the town. And the children on the bus go up. Up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The baby 
leaves on the bus gray. Wah, wah, wah. If you're 
excited and you know shop hooray hooray if you're excited and you know shop hooray hooray if you're excited and you know it and you really want to show it if you're excited and you know it shop hooray hooray good job my friends and now we are going to be using our imaginations and we're going to pretend that we are all teddy bears. I'm going to have to sit down for this one or else my head is going to disappear just like that. <laughs> but I want all my friends to stand up and we're going to pretend that we are teddy bears. Ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Well, teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, comb your hair. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the lights. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. And we are going to be saying good night to all of my sleeping bunnies. Good night, sleeping bunnies. I'm going to wait here for all of my sleeping bunnies to go to sleep, lie on the floor, and close your eyes. the sleeping bunny till it's nearly noon shall we wake them with a merry tune all so still are they ill wake up wake up wake little bunnies wake up wake up wake little bunnies Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, stop. All right, my friends, what animal should we be next? Hmm. I hear a lot of sleeping crocodiles. So we are going to say good night to all of our sleeping crocodiles. And again, I'm going to wait a few seconds for all of my friends to go to sleep on the floor, close their eyes. See the sleeping crocodiles till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Also still, are they ill? Wake up, wake up, wake little crocodile. Wake up, wake up, wake little crocodile. Snap, little crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, little crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. Good job, my friends. And now we're going to be reading a book to encourage even more imagination for our little ones, especially those that are slow to warm up. So we are going to be reading Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. So encouraging your little one's imagination, especially for our little ones that may be a little bit shy or... Um, it takes them longer to warm up. Uh, encouraging their imagination is actually a great way to promote social skills because it encourages them to socialize with others as they use their imagination. So we're going to be reading Not a Box. Not a Box. And this She's dedicated to children everywhere, sitting on cardboard boxes or in cardboard boxes. 
Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. All my friends, what did our little rabbit friend here turn the box into? That's right. Turned it into a car. What are you doing on top of that box? Hmm. I wonder what our rabbit friend turned the box into. It's not a box. Oh, look at the rabbit standing on top of the mountain. Why are you squirting a box? My friends, can we all take a guess what the box is now? Hmm, let's guess. I think maybe our rabbit friend is cleaning a dog house or a shed. Let's see. What do you think? Oh, those are some very good guesses. Let's see. I said it's not a box. Oh, wow. It's a building and our rabbit friend is a firefighter. Wow. Now you're wearing a box. My friends, what do you think our rabbit friend turned the same box into? Oh, those are some very good guesses. Let's see if you're right. Oh, this is not a box. What did our rabbit friend turn the box into? That's right. He turned it into a robot. And do you see what our rabbit friend named the robot in the corner there? It says Rabbot XL3. <laughs> Are you still standing around in that box? Oh my goodness. What do you think they've turned it into? Our rabbit friend has quite the imagination. Let's see. It's not, 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 not a box. Oh my goodness. Look at how many different ways our rabbit friend has turned the same box into many different things. Let's see here. Rabbit has turned into a pirate in their pirate ship. They're in a hot air balloon. They're riding an elephant. And they're on a little steamboat. Those are so many interesting and different ways to turn into a box. To turn a box into something else, I mean. Well, what is it then? Hmm... Look how long and hard our rabbit friend has to think about this question. Hmm. It's my not a box. Oh, and they're gonna blast off. Let me say bye bye. Bye bye, rabbit in their rocket ship, not a box. The end. So, my friends. I'm going to encourage you today to get a box. It doesn't have to be big. It could be a small cereal box. And I want you to turn it into something so that it is no longer a box. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys ended up making. As you can see for our next activity, these are great for our very, very active little ones and it doesn't require a lot of space. But, as you can see here, I have all of the pillows that I have in my house, plus a blanket. We're also gonna need to make sure that our socks are clean or our feet are clean, and we're gonna be making, like we're gonna be balancing on pillows. But first, let's try to, try to make it first.
Okay, so now that we've created our little pillow line here, we will try to walk across it. Ready? So we're gonna go forward like this. And this is why it's important to have make sure our socks are clean. And if you don't have a lot of pillows, that's why I used my one of my blankets as well. So if you're able to do this, we're gonna go backwards. I mean go back to the beginning. And this time we're going to walk backwards and see if you can stay on the pillow to make it even more challenging and harder. And if you want to make it even harder than that, you've noticed some of my pillows are the long way and then some of my pillows are the short way. So to make it even harder, I'm going to make all of them the long way. And also, this has now created like a little bump to make it harder. So let's try it again going forward. We're going to go forward. Keep our hands out. And we made it. And now turn around and go back. And now let's shuffle to the side. So we're going to go sideways. 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 Good job. Let's go backwards. Going to go back. Going sideways. This is kind of hard, my friends. You got to make sure you keep your balance. And now we're going to take big steps forward. So let's take a big step forward. Make sure you don't fall off the pillows, my friends. Big step forward and go back. Big steps. Big steps. Whoa. And now let's try going backwards without looking. And let's see if we can stay on the pillows. Make sure that you have an adult nearby just in case you fall then they can catch you whoops just like i almost did and we're gonna go again we're gonna, <laughs> this is harder my friends especially if you're not looking backwards oh see i almost got up and whoa so my friends, hopefully you guys do this at home and let me know how your pillow walk came out. Afterwards too, you can build a nice comfy fort. All right, my friends. So our next activity is one of our favorites and that is freeze dance. So I'm gonna play a, f a song on my phone and anytime the music stops, we all have to stop with it. Are we ready? Did all my friends stop? Good job, let's keep going. Let's march, come on, march, march. And time. Keep going, my friends, keep dancing. And stop. Did all my friends stop that time? We're going to go one more time. Ready? Keep going. Can we all pull together? Yay. I'm going 
gonna make this one last. And stop. Good job, my friend. You can do this at home. Just put on any of your favorite music and dance to it and have someone stop it. Or you can YouTube uh, freeze dance songs and they will do it for you so the whole family can dance together and not know when the music stops. If you need any other uh, physical gross motor activity idea to do at, in your home, um, especially during winter now that it's getting colder, uh, we do have a playlist in our YouTube channel. So go check that out. So what exactly is temperament and why is it so important to understand this concept while we parent and give positive discipline to our little ones? Well, to start with, temperament is not something that your child chooses, nor is it something that you create. Every child is born with their own individual way of seeing and approaching the world, their temperament. A child's temperament shapes the way that they experience the world. So for example, a child who is a little bit more shy and a little bit more cautious to new experiences versus a child who is very outgoing uh, and will jump right into it will experience the same thing in very different ways. It's also important to note that while temperament can have and can influence your little one's behavior and the way they interact with others, it's not very clearly defined. So understanding your little one's temperament can help you better understand how your little one reacts and relate to the world around them, which means that you can anticipate issues before they occur and avoid frustrating yourself or your little one. Temperament is also very important for us to know and temperament not just in the sense of knowing your little one's temperament, but also knowing your own temperament. Um, so this is really good to know so that you can better understand your differences. And you'll, if you have multiple children, you'll notice maybe even temperament from one child to the next can also differ greatly as well. By understanding your temperament and your little one's temperament, you can help um, your child express their preferences, desires, and feelings more appropriately. Also, understanding both of your temperaments can avoid blaming yourself or your child for reactions that might seem normal to them. So generally, there are five characteristics that describes an individual temperament. They are emotional intensity. So how much energy do you put into a response? Like for example, do you show a big reaction when you're upset? High intensity. Or do others have difficulty guessing how you feel? Low intensity. As well, your activity level. How active are you or your little one um, are on a daily basis? Do you enjoy a lot of activities or do you mo prefer more of a calm activity? And vice versa, is your little one super active or are they very calm and they prefer quiet activities? So that can greatly, um, you can cause differences in your temperaments for that. Frustration tolerance. Are... Do you have a low threshold for frustration tolerance or does your little one have a low threshold for frustration tolerance? And lastly, reactions to new people or to changes. So understanding all of this can help you um, with your, uh, with, Discipline, positive discipline 
for your little one. There's no right or wrong. And it's very important for our little ones to be accepted for who they are. It is true, though, that some temperaments are easier to handle than others. So a parent with an intense, reactive child or a child who is very shy and slow to warm up, depending on what your temperament is, um, can be very challenging. So recognizing patterns in your child's behavior that are influenced by temperament can help you anticipate your child's responses to certain situations. If you know that your child has a hard time making transitions, you can guess that pickup time at childcare or at school, or if you've, if you've left them with a trusted adult, um, it can be challenging. You could share these observations um, with either the teacher or the daycare provider to make transitions easier. So thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. As always, if you have any questions about this topic or about any other child development topic, please email me and let me know. My email, as well as all of our contact information, is always in the description box below. Remember to subscribe and like this video and follow us on Facebook. Bye, my friends.